Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be putting our new Magpul American Hunter uh, stock on our Ruger American uh, chambered in 243. Uh, we're just kind of going for a more tactical hunting rifle instead of the straight black that the stock comes with. And we are also going to be putting on our Vortex Viper PST. It's a 4x16x50. By by really nice scope. We originally had it on our Ruger American and 30 6 Sighted it in and then we got this thing and decided that we would tack this one out and we'd put the nice scope on it. So without further ado, let's uh, put this thing together. Okay, so disassembly is fairly simple. Um, you just have to loosen these two uh, bolts right here uh, in the magwell area and basically since it's a free floating barrel the whole barrel and bolt assembly trigger just come right off and you have okay so now that we have it um, out of the old stock we are just going to set it down in here And then first, actually, nope, I forgot these two little parts. There's these two little parts that set just in there, uh, kind of the support. And then you set the barrel on top of that. Falls just in there like so. And then you take these two, put them in there, and tighten them real nice so this is all that holds your barrel and receiver everything to the stock so you want to make sure it's nice and snug isn't going to wobble or anything um, and then you take your magwell and trigger guard and just fit it on there you kind of have to pinch it together slightly And you just put these two bolts in here and tighten them up. Now, once again, you want snug, but this isn't as important as getting the barrel attached. So just make sure you don't crack the plastic at all. Okay, so uh, there we go. Switched it over. Um, the bolt doesn't go in as normal here, so you kind of have to uh, do a weird flip it over so that the angled part can fit over the stock. Just slides in there and then you twist it over and boom, and it goes. Same thing coming out, you just have to do that and then. You on the Ruger American, it's a little lever right here. You push in, throw this around, and it comes out. Otherwise, it doesn't want to snap in there. There we go. Otherwise, it's the same as the old stock except for the mag, which just is five round detachable uh, single stack magazine. Um, I believe you can buy 10 round mags and I also think you can uh, buy a new one of these that extends the capacity to like six or something on the five round mags but I have not done much research on that. I think five round or 10 round would be fine. So. Without a scope, this is what it looks like. Got some nice M lock attachments. Um, I believe for slings, they have some little, just barely drilled out holes that you're supposed to drill out the rest of the way. And then you can, um, I don't remember what it's called. I'll put it down below somewhere. Uh, but you just have to screw them in then and get sling mount 
I think there's three different positions you could put it in. Um, so let's put the scope on now, which, yeah, okay, we don't need any extra tools. Do not exactly want to do that. So, let's see. Now you want to mount your scope as far forward as possible, so I'm going to, yeah, I think I liked that position better because otherwise it will hang over on the front and that wouldn't be good. Just because better eye relief and everything. i have to tighten those up here in a second, but with the scope on, even better. Um, we have our sunshade, and let's put this on. It's, looks really cool. Looks like a sniper at that point. So, put a bipod on, maybe muzzle brake, and you have a pretty nice hunting rifle that you should be able to hunt just about anything with. So, cool gun. So one last thing here as far as uh, functions, we have uh, length of pull adjustments. So basically you just loosen up a couple of bolts and uh, these just kind of slide on there. And I think you can add it so that there's about an inch and a half extra. So if you have really long arms or something, you can if you add that on there, it's quite a bit. comes out to here. So, Dad did that with his shotgun, and it's nicer for if you're taller and longer arms. So, but, yeah. I think you do have a kind of sling mount there. You'd still have to drill something out on the front up here. But, otherwise. I also believe you can buy cheek risers to make this kind of come up some more. Uh, I don't think it came with them unless yeah I just don't think they came with it so but yeah Ruger American turned into the Hunter American uh, have only shot it once and that was with this stock so can't wait to shoot it like this and uh, see how it goes so look for that video we will probably make a video of shooting it with the stock at some point it's been cold lately so once it gets warmer, and uh, we'll probably make a video citing it in. Uh, links in the description to everything you see here, the stock, the gun, scope. Uh, we'll get a link for this thing, probably the little bolt handle. Uh, I don't know what you'd call that. It makes a bigger grip, bolt handle grip. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, be safe.